Hey everyone, this is Edwan. Today I'm going to show you 10 tips and tricks on how to use FL Studio better. If you like this video and want more, please subscribe and leave me a thumbs up. Tip number one. The first tip is simply how to create an automation for any parameter in any instrument. So first you click on your effect and you tweak parameter a little bit. Then you click on add automation for last tweaked parameter and voila, you can create an automation and automate it as you want. Tip number two. The next trick is how to use the sliding effect between notes. In Nexus, for example, this effect is called portamento. So here is a sound without portamento. In Nexus, you simply have to click on mod, then on PLY, and then you can select how strong the effect will be. For example, if you put 1 64th, the effect will be like, eh? very short. And if you put it here, the effect will be very long, like, eh? In most FreeTeleps plugins, you can do this by going in this tab, then clicking on Porta and adjusting the slide parameter. Tip number three. The next tip is about how to show the notes that are in the other piano rolls. For this, you simply click on the triangle, then on Helpers, Ghost Channels. And here you can see all the notes that are played by the other instruments. It makes it way easier to see if your notes are on key with your chords. Tip number four. The next tip is about how to use the ghost kick. For this, you need a short sound. I took a cat sound. You can make it shorter with this parameter. And then you put it on each four steps. Then you put it on the channel that you want to use for your ghost kick. You mute it and then you sidechain it to the track that you want to sidechain. Last step is to use the fruity limiter. Put it in compressor mode. Put the ghost kick as the input. And finally, adjust the threshold and the ratio. And here you go. And you just made a sidechain out of cat noise. Tip number five. The next tip is how to copy a whole melody into another instrument. Instead of going in the piano roll, selecting everything, going in the other piano roll, pasting, you can simply click on the button at the right of your instrument, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and here you go, you have twice the melody. Tip number six. This tip is very useful. It allows you to move your effects above or below other effects. For this, you just do a left click on your effect and then press U to move it up or D to move it down. Tip number seven. This tip is very useful if you want to make a variation of your melody and you don't want to copy paste all the melodies into a new pattern. For this, you just left click on your pattern and select make unique. The same applies for any sample. You just click on the bar at the top and select make unique. And here you go, you can now edit your melody without affecting the first one. Tip number eight. This tip is very useful if you work with automations. Let's suppose that you just extended your structure and that you want to move the whole automation at the right. By default, you can't do this. You can just move one point. So the trick is just click on the slide button and here you go, you can move everything. Tip number nine. The next tip is very useful if you just want to check your chords and your melody without having to play everything. You just press Y and then you can listen to every single note separately. My final tip is to use the four shortcuts F5, F6, F7 and F9. It allows you to switch from the playlist F5 to your channel rack F6 and then you want to modify your melody just press F7 and you can switch very easily to the mixer by just pressing F9. 
So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. You can download the Free Toulouse project in the description. Please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this video. Thank you so much for joining me in the live stream last Thursday. We will be live again this Thursday at 7 p.m. UTC. Don't forget to send me your demos on SoundCloud. So see you soon and take care.